All right, all right. So good evening, everyone. How are you? So how's everything going? Fine. Mr. Manuel Duarte. Good night. Hi. Good evening, sir. Okay, so uh, good evening, Sulma and Jocelyn. So it's only you good evening. so far right now. But that's good, that's good. So how was your weekend? Uh, did you have a chance to rest? Did you have to work? Did you complete the platform? Yes, I worked, teacher. So you have to work, all right. That's good, that's good. Uh, teacher. Yes, Ulma. Yeah, how, how can I help you, Suma? Uh, I have a question about, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you well. Go ahead, please. Yes, so how can I help you? Uh, in the medi medicine exam, I, mm -hmm. I, can, I can ask where to the question because I don't know, but I understand the 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 past used to, mm -hmm. but in that question say in that question say what things it complete the the, the question mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and 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 say what things and at the at the end is it collect mm -hmm. the verb collect. Okay. So I, 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 I did, I did that. Uh, but the system uh, what, is showing what, incorrect. You you say. Colette is incorrect. No 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 no. I'm 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 telling you or I'm asking you. So in other words. The answer that you enter in the platform uh, is not, I mean, for you is correct, but the system uh, shows it wrong, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yes, because I, I, I did this question. Uh, what is, thing did you use? Did, like, did you use? Did you use, did you use to do, right? Okay. okay. Let me let me open the platform right away and just to see what's going on over there. Huh? All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let, let me open this up. So let me just one second over here. Okay. All right. So just one sec. Does anybody else uh, have any any problems with the platform as well, or is only you, Solma, with, with that issue? So I'm asking everyone, so does anybody else have any other issue related to the platform? Or it's it's only um, uh, Sulma right now. Hi teacher, I don't have any problems with the platform. So you don't have any problems, okay. So thanks for the feedback. Uh, so I'm, I'm getting the, you know, access to the platform right now. The thing is that I don't usually open this, but I'm gonna do it just for you, okay. So just one second. Teacher, e, the chat. Excuse me? This is my answer in the in the platform. And the on the chat ah. I I check. Okay. All right, so let's do something over here. Uh the platform is loading. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you, let's say in 15 minutes. But in the meantime, uh Suma. Let's begin the class. And then uh, when you're working in a break room, so I'm just gonna uh, tell you what's going on over there, all right? I think this is better. Okay. Yeah, because you know, my internet okay. connection is not so stable right now. And uh, so I don't wanna be, uh, I would say, um, spending time on this right now. I, and so I'm gonna have a response for you in a second, okay? So just one moment over here.
And is that exercise D, the one you're talking about, used to? Is that is that exercise D, the one you're talking about, Sulma? Excuse me? Because, you know, I haven't gotten a, I mean, you can get a screenshot and just send it to me and post it on the chat just for me to, to see what's yeah. going on over there, please. Okay. So in the meantime, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to the second week of uh, the pre-intermediate module that goes from November 16th to December the 10th. So it is Monday, November the 23rd, okay? So and we're, we're supposed to, to finish unit one, maybe today, and to start tomorrow with unit two. Okay, so I have many exercises and activities uh, ready for you so you can practice. I'm gonna, you know, take you back to your childhood memories. You're going to remember your, your, good, your all good times when you used to play uh, chivolas, trompo, mica, etc. All right, so uh, this evening, uh, that's the main topic we're gonna cover, okay. So, so my right now, my system is loaded. I'm going to see what's, what happens in there. But if you could send a screenshot of the specific issue, that'll be easier for me, you know, to identify what's going on. So in the meantime, uh, so everyone, let me just get the chat over here and I'll be sharing the screen with you very quickly. So just one second here. Okay, one second. All right, so, and this is uh, today's class, everyone. All right, hope you enjoy it. As I said, uh, just, just some clarifications for this class. Remember that we only have classes from Mondays through Thursday, so we don't meet on Friday. Because last time I remember I had somebody asking me, so teacher, do we have a class right now? And I said, no, I mean, it was last Friday. So the class only takes place Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So we don't have classes on Friday, only four weeks. I mean, four days a week. So, uh, and this is just a friendly reminder that the last day for you to complete the platform is December the 10th. And this week, you should start at least working on lesson two, section two, and maybe to finish lesson two. So by the end of this week, you should start working on the midterm, the one that Sulma is asking me about, okay? So that being said, let's get down to business. And what I got for you is the following, the word of the day or the word of the evening, okay? At the end of the past, so that's the word that I have for you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a thing of the past. Like in Spanish, you know, that's what we say, una cosa del pasado. That's a thing of the past. And uh, that's, this is how you use it, okay? If something is a thing of the past, it doesn't happen or exists anymore. Like, and I'm gonna ask, and this question goes to, to anybody that would like to help me. Can somebody tell me what's a thing of the past that we don't longer use these days? For example, can somebody tell me an example of a thing of the past? Maybe electronic devices, I don't know, maybe uh, transportation or something like that. I mean, I'm asking you, my friends, if you can tell me an example of, of a thing of the past. Something that maybe you use or you you uh, in the past or or you didn't use. Uh, I don't know. You you don't use nowadays. Yes. I think so. I think of of the past. Maybe can be Walkman. A Walkman. Mm -hmm. Music. Yeah, that's right. And actually, that's the example that I, that I I bring for you tonight. Okay. That's, that's the, the actual example that I have for you. You stole it for me, which is okay. So like this example, listening to music on a Walkman are a thing of the past. Now, everyone listens to music in their cell phones. And this is uh, you know, true 
okay? And I have this uh, image for you. And if you were, uh, are one of the ones that used to have this uh, Walkman, you know, this CD player, you're very lucky, okay? I never had one, but I, I had uh, some friends that used to have this. A Discman, that was actually the name over there. Who, who, who used to have this, by the way? Did you used to have one of this? Everyone? Same. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and what, what type of music did you listen to over there? Maybe in Spanish or, or English? We'll see. Yeah, Spanish. Uh, uh, working in Spanish. <laughs> All right. Del silencio. Del silencio. Yeah, great sums over there. El otro lado del silencio, right? That's a great sum, by the way. <laughs> All right. So, so the stereo, maybe, I don't know, maybe. I don't, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, the great, great groups yeah. or great bands over there. Okay. I never had a disc man, uh, but I remember watching them and, and borrowing them from some friends. So, uh, you know, a Walkman are a thing of the past, you know, or Walkmans are a thing of the past, okay? So, so you may write this down just to keep it in your, in your notes uh, because this is part of the vocabulary for, for tonight, okay? So remember, a thing of the past, that's the word for the evening. And the uh, first activity that I have for you uh, this evening, it's a short quiz, and this is going to be a listening exercise. And for this, uh, I have uh, four questions over here. And, and uh, I'll be sharing with you. So listen to me, please. I'll be sharing with you the, the access. Okay, so the accent to this. Uh, just one second. Okay. So what I want you to do right now is just uh, pay attention to this. Of course, I'm gonna send to you the access information so you can listen to, uh, to this uh, quiz. It's a conversation and they're gonna be talking about things in the past, all right? And um, right now, let me just choose somebody who can help me read uh, this information. So Adriana uh, Chavez, could you help us just read uh, question one, two, three, and four and the options, please, if you don't mind. Okay. What did she do in the morning? Mm -hmm. She worked around the the house. Yes. Uh, she went to the work. Okay. Who did she get to work? Uh, okay. She took the bus. Mm -hmm. She worked. She okay. worked. Okay. Who loved? How long did she work for? Mm -hmm. All day, a uh, few hours. Mm -hmm. What? <clears throat> what did? What did she do after work? She went to the park. A park. Mm -hmm. She went to the gym. All right. So I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. So the first question is asking you what exactly she did in the morning, and you have two options. Either she worked around the house, meaning that she stayed home, I don't know, maybe uh, doing the dishes, doing uh, the laundry, or cleaning the house, etc., or she went to work. So you got two options in there. Uh, question number two, it's actually uh, asking uh, the transportation used by her. Maybe she took the bus or she walked uh, to work. So only two options. Number three is asking uh, how long did she work for? Did she work for three hours or maybe all day or just a few hours, maybe four or five hours or the whole day? And the last question, as you read, Adriana is asking what she did after work. I, and there are two options. So she went to a park or either she went to the gym. You know, she likes to work out. So what I'm going to do for you right now, I'll be sending this information to you. Please listen to the uh, quiz one time and then click where it says check answers, all right? And you, you can take the quiz one or two times, you know, the top, you know? And, and then if you want, or if you like, share your score in the WhatsApp group just to see how you're doing in there. Do we have an agreement, everyone? Yes. 
All right, so let me just get the information over here and I'll get back to you in a couple of seconds over here. All right, so just one second in there. You know, one of the best things that you can do uh, for a listening practice is just to get familiar with the questions. So once you're familiar with the questions, it's easier for you to understand or to get the main idea of what the conversation or the listening will be about. And that's a tip, you know, that works for me. And, you know, I hope you it actually works for you as well. Okay. So um, just one second over here. All right, sorry about that. I just found it. I have it here. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? And uh, there you go. Did you get it? Yes. All right, so I'm going to also uh, send it through the Zoom chat. So what you're gonna do right now individually, please mute your microphones and listen to this one time, okay? And then just share your uh, responses, I mean, your score to, to me, please. All right, so if you're so kind to share your uh, score with me, I really appreciate it. Okay. All right, so I got some responses from Edwin already. And uh, let me just go ahead and, and see uh, what you got in here. Um, that's, that's good, that's good. You got pretty much everything correct. That's nice. All right, so I have some more answers coming in, uh, which is great and nice. All right, appreciate that. So what I'm gonna do right now for you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me just uh, play the listening uh, for you. Okay, so we can uh, all see the pronunciation and everything, and then we'll see the, the conversation. I'll be choosing two participants to help me practice the conversation in front of the class. And then I'll just uh, help you with some pronunciation uh, points. And, and send you to practice in purse, okay? 
So I appreciate that you know you're, that you're sending uh, your scores to the chat. Okay. So thank you very much for that. So one more second over here. All right. So uh, I'm going to play the listening for you. You don't have to answer anything. Okay. So this time it's going to be just like this. All right. Yeah, you, you, you can see the screen and sharing, right? Yes. All right, so let me just play this very quickly and then we take you from there. Right now, we're just going to get familiar with the listening exercise. So let me just stop sharing this and just, uh, you know, give it a try one more time. Here we go. All right, so let me know if you're able to listen here. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday was my day off. I started the day early and finished up a lot of house chores before work. I cleaned the kitchen, mowed the lawn, mailed some letters, emptied the trash, and washed my clothes. I even dusted the furniture. Wow. What did you do after that? After that, I walked to work because I needed to do some things for my job. I didn't take the bus because it looked full. I enjoyed the walk, though, as I strolled through the park to my office. Wait, did you work? It was your day off. Yes, I know. I did work. I worked for about three hours. I checked some emails and finished a paper I needed to send to a customer. Did you work long? Mm, no. After that, I walked to my local gym. I exercised for about one hour. I lifted weights and walked on the treadmill for some time. Then I showered and headed home. What did you do last night? At home, I cooked dinner and chatted with my roommate. After eating, I cleaned up the kitchen. I wanted to watch a movie, but it was too late, so I decided not to. All in all, it was a good day. All right, so I'm going to ask, uh, can somebody tell me the responses to the first three questions over here? So can somebody help us answer question one, two, and three out of this? Somebody says, yes, me, teacher. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. In the first one, uh, I put that she working around the house because I heard that she say things about uh, she clean her her clothes and clean the kitchen things like that. Uh, in the second one, uh, she said that uh, she believe that it's more convenience uh, work. For the reason she never take the bus. And mm -hmm. The okay. second answer for me, she walked. All right, so uh, she walked, you said. All right. Uh, and the third one, Edwin, was the third one. Uh, she said that uh, only work for a few times, three hours, I remember. A few hours over there. Thank you, appreciate that. All right, so to the chat, I just sent the word over there, which is a uh, chores. Uh, you can say either uh, household chores or you can say uh, chores only. That means all the activities that you do at home. And I'm sending this to the Zoom chat, you know, chores or household chores. These are the tasks that you complete at home. Chores, you know, chores, chores. Uh, okay, so these are the tasks that you complete at home. All right, so in number four and number five, please, can somebody help us in here? I know that, that you submitted your responses to the chat, but I need you to explain it to me, please. Somebody else, please? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, the number four, I listened that she say that she went to the gym right. because uh, she, likes, she likes exercise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too. Right. She likes yeah. practicing. Like, yeah, she likes to work out, right? Or she likes working out or, or, or doing exercise. All right, let's check the answers and let's, let's see. Yes, pretty much is correct. It's only four questions, by the way. So what you're going to do right now in this place, 
uh, click where it says script, and then you're gonna be able to see the script. Do that, please, right now. So can you do that, please? You see that you have the grammar, you got the quiz, and then you have the script. So what I want you to do right now is to click where it says uh, the script. Let me play the listening for you right now, okay? And what you're gonna do is to pay attention to the conversation, but this time you're going to be reading to the uh, script, all right? Thank you, one, two, three, here we go. And if you don't know any words or, or if you uh, don't know the pronunciation or something, just write it down so we can uh, discuss it later. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday was my day off. I started the day early and finished up a lot of house chores before work. I cleaned the kitchen, mowed the lawn, mailed some letters, emptied the trash, and washed my clothes. I even dusted the furniture. Wow. What did you do after that? After that, I walked to work because I needed to do some things for my job. I didn't take the bus because it looked full. I enjoyed the walk, though, as I strolled through the park to my office. Wait. Did you work? It was your day off. Yes, I know. I did work. I worked for about three hours. I checked some emails and finished a paper I needed to send to a customer. Did you work long? No. After that, I walked to my local gym. I exercised for about one hour. I lifted weights and walked on the treadmill for some time. Then I showered and headed home. What did you do last night? At home, I cooked dinner and chatted with my roommate. After eating, I cleaned up the kitchen. I wanted to watch a movie, but it was too late, so I decided not to. All in all, it was a good day. All right. So uh, let me just go over the pronunciation of the verbs in past, okay? Because remember that the, the main focus for this unit, or at least this module, is the simple past, okay? So I want you to pay close attention to the way I'm going to be pronouncing these words. So I'm going to start with the first one. Okay, right now, just listen, and then you're going to have the opportunity to say it. But right now, just listen, please. So, start it, start it, or start it, like she says, because she has a British accent. And this one is finished up. Finished, finished, and then we have up, finished up. And cleaned, cleaned, just like the present, cleaned and cleaned, the same thing, almost. Mowed, mowed, mowed alone means to cut the grass. All right, mailed, mail some letters, empty the trash, empty the trash, empty, right? Wash, washed, washed my clothes, wash my clothes. Okay, if the word is just a pronounced in isolation, o sea, por su, por su misma cuenta, you say washed. But in this case, you say, just say washed my clothes, you know, wash my clothes. You don't say washed my clothes. No, we don't do that. Dusted, you know, dusted, dusted, sacudir el polvo de los muebles. And this one is furniture. Furniture is los muebles, you know, like the one I have over here. Okay. Um, let me just one second over here. Let me just mute your microphone. All right. So next one over here. Walked, walked. El verbo solo es walked. Yeah, walked over here. Walked. But if you pronounce it, you know, next to another word, like to, walked, it, ha it sounds like a t, and this one is the same sound. So we go, I walk to work, I walk to, walk to. What we're doing is we are joining the sounds, we're linking the sounds, all right? So we go, after that, I walk to, I walk to, I walk to work. So join the sounds, please. Unamos los sonidos, por favor. And this one is needed, needed, okay? Need in present and needed. Please, you know, remember that. Si me dicen need, it's incorrect. But if you say needed, that's, that's correct. Pero si aquí, dice, si aquí dice walk it, it's incorrect. You gotta say walk to, walked, okay? If you say, uh, for example, watch it, it's incorrect. Mejor dígalo en presente, all right? You say watched my clothes, all right? Walk to work. And let's see another one. Uh, look looked full hold on enjoy the walk enjoy you say enjoyed and then you go to enjoy hold on edwin and then we got strolled 
stroll, and let's see, worked, worked, checked, checked. One more time, finished, finished, finished the paper, need it. And there we go. Yes, Edwin, go ahead, please, sir. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you say that we can try to pronounce in present when we had a connector, like two. Yes. Uh, but in the case of wash, uh, you say that, I don't look at the connector like two. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. We can say in present in the same yeah. word. The thing is that if you don't, if you're not sure about the pronunciation, it's better if you say it in present. But oh. if you know, yeah, but if you know, but if you know that the pronunciation is with a da, like washed my clothes, in that case, it's better to say it. But all I'm saying is that in this case, the da and the um sound are, are, are very close to one another. So if you say, uh, listen to me. So in a conversation, you're not you're not gonna just stop to say, uh, and I watched my clothes. We don't say that, because what you okay. do is you, you you need to communicate. So in this case, you know, in this example, walked is the same sound as the t in two. So that's why you know you need to actually you have to join walk to work. You don't say I walked to work. You don't say that. But in, in, but in this case, you say you say in this example. Listen to me. Mail some, so we don't say mailed some, we don't say that. Uh, so mail some letters, empty the trash, and wash my clothes. And that's how native speakers say, I'm not a native speaker, but I know how, how this is done. So, uh, and you, the thing is that it's better to say it in present rather than just say it like, and I wash it in my clothes, you don't say that. So Edwin, my point is, in in the worst case scenario, if you if you're not sure about the the ed pronunciation of, of a verb, just say it in present. It sounds better. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for that. You're welcome. And actually, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I do. I mean, uh, uh, I try to join or link the sounds because that's the language. Okay. That's the language, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So, any other more questions over here? I'm glad that Edwin, uh, you know, asked that question. By the way, yes. Do you have any questions? Anybody? No. no. <laughs> Maybe the dog, right? <laughs> El perrito sí tiene preguntas. Okay. Uh, let me open the breaker rooms. You're gonna be practicing this conversation in person, of course, right? And here we go. All right, so the rooms are, are open already. Go ahead and practice, please. Miguel is with Nati, Edwin with Luis, uh, Carlos with Sulma, Manuel with Mauricio, Jose, Jose Salom over here. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, want to start? Yes, solo give me a second. Okay. okay. Uh, what's that? Who's that? Who is that? Correct. I'm, I'm sharing the screen with the you, Miguel. Oh, es que estoy en WhatsApp, por eso no puedo poner la, la cámara. Si, si me salgo, sí, va a aparecer. No, 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 that's okay. What I'm saying is that I'm sharing the screen with you of the conversation. Oh, man, sorry. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> um, who's the correct one, teacher? Ay, hijo, espérame, hijo, por favor. All right, so let me... Um, it, it's a it's a link the one that I share with you by the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let let me send it. Let me post it again to the uh, WhatsApp. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you got it right. 
Oh, yeah. All right, so that's the one. Hey, guys. Um, I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> if you want. <laughs> what did you do? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Say, say hello to the baby, you know, no problem, no problem. Yeah. I mean, uh, Nati can hear you. Don't, don't worry, Miguel. Nati can hear you. Go ahead, please. I, I gotta go, you know. Yeah, but uh, what did you, what did you do yesterday? <laughs> All right, so Mr. Edwin, they left you by yourself, sir. <laughs> don't worry. You were forgot them over here. I don't know why, but uh, your your classmate did not join uh, this room. So, uh, it's practice, please. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. All right, be the woman, and, and you uh, you'll be the man, please. Okay. Uh, well. No, I, I, let, let's do something better because the woman speaks more more, so I think it's better for <laughs> okay. you. Yes. Yeah, uh, on because of that. <laughs> yes. I I have the script right now. All right, go ahead. Uh, well, the main start. Yeah, you're right. Um, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday was my day off. I started today early and finished the. Uh, a lot of the house short before work i cleaned the kitchen put the lawn mailed some letters empty the trash and wash my clothes i even dusted the fortune mm -hmm. all right wow what did you do after that after that i walked to work because i needed to do something for my job mm -hmm. i didn't take the bus because i looked full i'm going to walk through I was it south the park to my office. All right, so uh, I enjoyed the work though uh, as I stroll through the park to my office. Through the park to my office. Through the, uh, through the park, okay. Through, you know, through. Uh, wait, did you work? It was your day off. Yes, I know. I did work. I worked for about three hours. I checked some emails and finished a paper I needed to send a customer. All right, so listen to me, please. Yes, I know. I did work. I worked for about three hours and checked some emails and finished the paper I needed to send to a customer. Checked, checked some emails and finished the paper, finished up, finished up a paper I needed to send to a customer. So in this case, you gotta make sure to pronounce. You know, I worked for about three hours. I checked some emails and finished the paper and needed to say so you, you gotta feel how your tongue like touches your teeth on on the top yes. okay. okay so did you work long no after that i walked to my local gym i exercised for about one hour i lifted a wing weights and walked on the field meal for some time then i chored and had my home home all right. So, I don't know how to say it. But. Yeah, head it, head it, head it. Head it, head, head. head it, yes. Okay. All right. So remember, walk to my local gym. I exercise for about an hour. I lift two weights. I walked on, walked on. If, it, walked there's a, on. if there's a vowel sound right after it, you got to say walked on. Okay. But I walked on. Like the same as walk to, but in this case, you have walk to. It's the same sound, but in this case, you have a vowel. So I, I left to wait and walked on the treadmill for some time. Then I showered and headed home. What did you do last night? At home, I cooked uh, dinner for and chatted with my roommate. After mm -hmm. eating, I cleaned up the kitchen. I want to, I want to watch the movie, but it was too late, so I decided not to. All in all, it was a good day. All right, so I cooked dinner, I chatted with my roommate after eating, I cleaned up, cleaned up, cleaned up, cleaned, cleaned up. up. The kitchen, I wanted, wanted or wanted, wanted or wanted. Uh, but it was too late, I decided not to. All in all, it was a good day. So, uh, Edwin, if it's the, the uh, ending, ED, like, 
click like uh, want it, uh, visit it, need it, decide it. You gotta say it just like that because if you say I I want to watch, it's the present, All right? And if you yeah. say I decide, so that's the present too. So you gotta make sure you know your uh, the person you're talking to understands that that's the past. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's great. So let's go back to the main station and then um, we'll continue. All right. Okay. Just one second. Yeah. All right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, can I have two volunteers who can help me practice this conversation in purse or course? Can somebody just raise uh, his or her hand on this uh, screen please? Yeah, who says me over here? Okay, um, Sulma, all right, thank you. Of course, you're going to be the woman. Who, who wants to be the man over here? Just for tonight, you know? <laughs> yeah, so anybody? And let's see who raised his hand over here. Let's see. All right, so Nati, thank you. No. <laughs> yeah, have your hand raised over there. Okay. All right, so um, it's up to you. Maybe if you like... Uh, Sulma, you can be the the demand in this conversation, and then just uh, Nati, you'll be the woman, please. Or, okay. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, go ahead, please. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday was my day off. I start the day early and finished up a lot of house chores before work. I cleaned the kitchen, mowed the lawn mailed some letters, emptied the trash, and washed my clothes. I even dusted the furniture. Wow, what do you do after that? After that, I walked to work because I needed to do some things for my job. I didn't take the bus because it looked cool. I enjoyed the walk so as I strolled through the park to my office. Wait, did you work? Is what your is what your day of? Can you up the screen, teacher, please? Yeah, let me just let me just underline these verbs because I, there's something I need to assign to you. All right, just one second. Sorry about that. Um, the other was I'm gonna lose the, yes, you know, know, the work over there. <laughs> All right, so just one second. Uh, there's another activity that I'm gonna assign to you right now because I really want you to, to pronounce the 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 ed endings correctly. And yes, next screen. Go ahead, please. Man, did you work long? Uh huh. No. Did you? Oh, sorry. Did you work long? No. After that, after that, I walked to my local gym. I exercised for about one hour i lift weight and walk on the treadmill for some time then i showered and headed home what do you do last night at home i cook dinner and chatted with my roommate after eating i clean up the kitchen i wanted i wanted to watch a movie but it was too late so i decided not to all in all, it was a good day. All right, so thank you so much. I appreciate it. What we're going to do right now, it's the following. Let me just uh, write something on this presentation very quickly. Okay. Um, let me just find this. Here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to classify the pronunciation of the verse that in the conversation in three different categories. 
or three different uh, uh, columns, I would say. So, and listen to this. Remember that in this case, this, the, we're talking about uh, regular verbs. Take a look, regular verbs, all right? Past tense, and I'm gonna go ED endings. All right, so I'm sharing the screen with you, right? You can see it in, in your screen. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, mark the pronunciation, like the first one, if it's the easiest one, you know, ED, like in this case, it's pronounced like, like, this, like this, okay? So take a look, that, that's gonna be the first category. The second one in your notebooks or your cell phones, you're gonna try to pronounce it just like like that like this uh like the like this and then the other one it'll be pronounced as you know um uh, like this all right just like this remember that we're talking about verbs that are pronounced like uh studied for example all right and wanted or wanted in verse that are pronounced like cleaned, in verse that are pronounced like uh, uh, finished with t. I'm gonna give you some examples over here. All right, at least one example. So the first one, I'm going the, the, uh, for me, this is one of the most important ones. So remember, this is the past, all right? So this ED should be wanted. If you say want, it's incorrect. The uh, next one, which is pronounced like D, it should be like like clean, all right? So you go cleaned. And if it's together with another word like up, you say cleaned up, cleaned up, right? And uh, the next one pronounced with T, this one, walked, walked, all right? So what you're gonna do is, based on the uh, the verse in this conversation, okay? And, and you're going to classify them in three categories. Wanted, ED, cleaned, with D, and then what, like T, this one. Remember, we're talking about the ED endings over here. So I'm going to send you to a breakout room and with a classmate, you're gonna try to classify this. But I think this time, I'm gonna send you to a group of three, okay? So, so use the same conversation that I share with you, all right? Do you have access to this conversation? If you want, I can send a screenshot of the verse that I just underlined. So would you like me to send that to you? Yes, please, please. Begin. Yeah, it's easier, right? <laughs> yeah, no problem over here, but let me just see if I skip the word in here. Um, I mean, help me out in here, please. Uh, no, I didn't. All right. So I'm going to be sending this to you right away. And then, um, all right. So I got this already. Let me get that second one over here. I mean, try to pronounce this in your minds. You know, that's the best way to learn it. All right. There's no other way. I mean, in the end, you'll have to memorize it. Okay. But the easiest way is to memorize the ones that finish with uh, wanted ED and the ones that, that end with the, and then the rest is just easier, okay? So I'm, I'm uh, opening the breaker rooms right now as I'm speaking, you're gonna be working in groups of three, all right? Um, or four, maybe. All right. There you go. So join the rooms, please, and I'll be sending these uh, screenshots to the chat, okay?
Maybe finish. No, yeah. podría ir en la primera columna. Uh, uh, sí. Yeah, start. start. Primera columna. Five. Finish. 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 All right, so I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. What you can do is you play the listening and listen to the conversation. That's going to help you. Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. <laughs> yeah, do that, please. Okay. Queen, queen. Es que todas have... In type. In type. ID. Type. Type. Creo que esa es E. No, no estoy seguro. All right, so if you want to get some help, you can listen to the uh, conversation one more time. I mean, no problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, get some help. <laughs> what did you do yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday was my day off. I started the day early and finished up a lot of house chores before work. I cleaned the kitchen, mailed some letters, emptied the trash, and washed Mail with this, I think. Food is with letter D. Mail, I believe the E D. Mm -hmm. Ma Mail. Mail. I believe D. With D. With D. Yes, I believe that is good. With E D. What? What? Yeah, which one? I, I. I even dusted the furniture. Wow. Mm -hmm. What did you do after that? After that, and finished up early and finished up a lot of house chores before work. I cleaned the kitchen, mowed the lawn, mailed some letters, emptied the trash, and washed my clothes. Emptied, I believe, speedy. Yes. Yeah, correct, correct. Um, what? Washed with letter D. Or D. Well, for me, it's letter D. I believe that. Yeah, which one you said, Edwin? Uh, we letter D. What, what, what verb? What's the verb? Sorry. Washed. No, washed. washed. No, it, it's two. Twenty. Twenty. No, washed. You say washed. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the reason why. You know, once we come back. But all I can say is that if it's a spell like with S or double S, or if it's like S H. You have to say washed, like dressed, dressed up, washed, right? So that's the rule. That's the rule over there. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For that reason, the sun is more like letter D. T like tomato. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks, Elida. Sure. And that's it. Would be. What? 
She says, I believe so, yes. She's, she's, she's uh, all right. Does it, I feel that the song is like ED? Correct. And on, on that one, I can give you another uh, another clue if you, if you allow me. <laughs> all right. If the verb ends, you know, in, in present, in present, if the verb is pronounced with the and t, in present, it's it, the past tense is ed, it, like visit, visit, you say visited, like need, you say need it. What's the what's the what's the uh, present form of dust? Dust, right? Dust. With t. So the the past tense is ed, id, dusted. That's why you know how do you pronounce querer in in, in English? In, in, in present. Want. 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 So what's, Want. The, what's the past? Want. Exactly. Want. So that's the rule. Okay. Uh, but in the case of work, it ends in letter K. Yes. And that's also in the same category as if it's like K, P, like K and P, like in S, H, S, S. It's pronounced like t. That's why you gotta say worked, 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 worked. You don't say work. You don't say work it. And you don't say worked. You don't say that. You say worked. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. Well, in the case of work, it's letter T. Yes. For me, in the case of work, in letter T. Which one is it, Edwin? Work. But uh, just be careful with yeah. that one. Uh, it, so walk, 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 walk. Like work. Uh -huh. the, the the person is work, work. Okay, or walk. Okay. If it's, si se pronuncia con K en presente, el final, the past tense should be with T. With like tomato. Well, I believe, well, I guess I say that I believe that the song is letter T. Like T, T, like tomato, right? Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Sure. All right. So let's let's come back to the main session because the class uh, it's about to finish. Let's say in three or four minutes. I need, okay. uh, really need to clarify this. Okay. Thank you. I, all right, so I know we're back over here. All right, so uh, let me just let me just go ahead and share the screen with you, and I'll be choosing uh, one person out of each breaker room to help us uh, identify uh, some of the verbs over there. Okay, and uh, let's see here. So I'll be choosing out of the first group made by Adriana, Edwin, Jose, and Margarita. I'm gonna be choosing Mr. Jose. So Jose, help us please with the following, please. All right, you ready? Hey, Jose, are you here, sir? All right, so it seems that he cannot hear us, so I'm going to choose a Margarita. Yeah, so Margarita, can you hear us over here? All right, so you're not here either. So Adriana, can you help us, please? Yes. Thank you, I appreciate that. So what you're going to do is just just tell me the verb, or, you know, the pronunciation mean pass. We're going to go with the first... Uh, part the woman, this one, the one I'm pointing over here. So this one. Okay. Is that it? Is ed. Mm -hmm. Correct. Next one. Finished. T. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how do you say finished and then up together? How do you say that? Mm -hmm. uh, cleaned. 
Is no, but, but, but allow me just one second, Madriana. So how, how do you pronounce uh, finished and, and up together in past? These two words together. Finish up. You say finish tap, finish tap, tap, finish tap. tap. Finish yes. tap. Yeah, you gotta make the, the t sound. Right? Continue, please. You said the next one, please. Uh, D. Yeah, and, and you say how? How do you say it? Cleaned. Yeah, you say cleaned, yes. But in this case, we say clean the kitchen uh, because we, we join this to sound. Next one, please. Evie. It's actually, uh, no, it's actually D, you know, mode, mode, mode. No, uh, D. Yes, this one, correct. Mode. Yeah, next, male. D. Yes, mailed, right. Okay, next, please. EV. Yes, all right. Entit, yes. And next. D. Yes, watched. And next one, please, Euler. EV. Yeah, that's it. There's a rule that states that if the verb, uh, you know, it's a spell with t, I mean it's pronounced with t like dust, visit, and with d like neat, the past tense should be in ed, you know, dusted, visited, wanted, okay, needed, etc. Okay, uh, just because we are running out of time over here, I'm just gonna help you on this one. So this one is walked, needed, uh, looked, enjoyed, strolled, worked, checked, finished, and needed. And there's another rule that states that if the verb is pronounced with k, like this, and, 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 and also with s, like sh, like wash, it has to be pronounced, I'm sorry, if it's like, like k, and yes, in sh, and s, it has to be like t, walked, wash, okay, washed, that's how you say it. All right, and the rest, uh, it's actually easy to, to say, like checked those ones, all right? So we're done for the night. I gotta go because I have another class. I hope to see you tomorrow. You know, sorry just to let you go just like that. So tomorrow we, we will continue with some other exercises, the grammar and the traditional games from El Salvador, all right? And the platform, teacher. Ah, yes. Uh, um, uh, I came, uh, I send you the question on, on WhatsApp. Yeah, you sent it to me actually, and I found it. So what exercise is that one? The midterm you said, but is that uh, used to exercise D? Yeah. All right. So I have it here already. Okay, uh, it says you gotta enter the you used to and everything over there. It was number four, the one you got incorrect, or which one? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share it with you right now. I got it here. Okay, let me send it to you. Okay. You got it? Did you get it? No, no, Philip. All right, you know, I gotta go, but I'll be sending this to you right now. Otherwise, I can help you, you know, in a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right, so see you tomorrow. See you.